How I became a board game designer, part 13, Camp America. After my second year and third year at university, I went and worked on a camp in upstate New York. And I hadn't had a great time at university. I wasn't that happy. And this just changed my life. I suddenly was surrounded by people that I got on with, that I felt uh, instantly connected to and doing something that I was really excited about. You know, we'd have long days. We'd get up early in the morning. We'd be on it from sort of, oh, when did Reveille go off? About seven in the morning, you know, over the loudspeaker. Do, 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 do. And you'd have to get up and you'd get all the campers up and, and then you'd go to the flag raising and pledge allegiance. And then uh, you'd have a programme of activities during the day and you'd be leading your uh, campers around these activities or you'd be running uh, uh, these activities in your own specialist area. And I did a combination of those things. I was heading up the uh, theatre in my second year and I was a counsellor in the theatre in the first one. So I was a, sort of on the drama team in the first one and then heading up the theatre in the second year. And... Uh, we had all these different events as well as having, uh, you know, the regular program that we did. We had these different events. We would uh, have skit nights where we were kind of creating sketches and performing to each other. Each cabin had a skit night. We were, uh, we had uh, games. We had the kind of Olympics, the Camp Olympics every year where you'd have all these different games that the, it split into three teams and everybody would take part in these games. And we had to keep these campers entertained. And uh, working in the theatre is this tiny little theatre with the smallest backstage area and one box room at the back. That was it. There weren't any dressing rooms or anything. It was this tiny theatre, but a proper theatre with a stage and an auditorium on this camp in upstate New York. And there was this whole sort of world of possibility, really. I mean, the whole camp was being, apart from the people who were being pay, properly paid and in management, the camp was being run entirely by people who were 25 and under, really. And there was this kind of really, really exciting creativity around what are we going to, what we're going to do today? What are we going to do in this you know, what am I going to do with these campers when they come to my drama workshop today? What are we going to do? What what show are we going to put on? We put on two shows a summer, one in boys camp, one in girls camp. And we had to get them up from nothing. We had to create uh, costumes out of nothing. And so there was this kind of, um, uh, there was this expectation that you would come up with things, that you would create things. You know, we had these themed banquet nights and we would we would decorate the whole dining room and we would have costumes and we'd create the, the costumes just from stuff we had around or we'd go to the thrift store and get stuff there and this uh, kind of ability to be imaginative and then to think about you know what what are we creating here what are we going what we're going to put in front of people how are we going to engage these campers that sort of idea of creativity has really stood me in good stead for now looking at board game design. So I'm not scared when I'm thinking, oh, what should I create today? That's really exciting.